They're racing against time on the northeast coast of Corfu. Fires are on the move again, and there are fears if they're not out soon, strong winds on their way will make control efforts futile. It is a catastrophe because uh, mainly the main income on this island is tourism. If we now have cancellations and people they don't want to visit because they're scared, it's going to be a disaster for this island, for every Greek island. And it's a disaster that extends across the Mediterranean. In Algeria, huge wildfires have now killed dozens of people, including firefighters, trapped by blazes accelerated by powerful winds. In Sicily, Palermo Airport was forced to close temporarily as fires encroached on the runway. Extreme temperatures on the island for weeks have turned scrub into kindling, woodland into fuel. Turkey, which has sent aircraft to help Greece fight its fires, is battling blazes of its own, as is Croatia. Wildfires aren't unusual in the Mediterranean in summer, but these weather extremes are. Intense heat waves create the conditions in which wildfires occur. And a new analysis of this summer's heat waves has concluded that the conditions we've seen across Europe would have been virtually impossible if it hadn't been for human-induced climate change. The new report finds heat waves like the one we're seeing in southern Europe are now two and a half degrees hotter due to man-made global warming. And such events can now be expected every 15 years in North America, 10 years in southern Europe and every five years in China. And if we continue to heat the earth to two degrees above pre-industrial levels, they will occur every two to five years and be even hotter. If we really do everything we can to achieve the 1.5 target, that would that would still mean that this would be uh, the kind of events we have to deal with. But if we don't reach the targets, and if we do, especially if we don't even try, um, then this, we will see much, much more extreme events. Something that's becoming abundantly clear on islands like Corfu. I will class it as the fire of the century for Corfu. We have to be, get prepared better because definitely it's going to change in the climate. We have very, very much hotter summers and for longer and uh, we're going to have heat waves every year and we're going to become they say like dubai for from for weather the science doesn't say every year will be like this heat waves will come and go but on current trends they'll come more often and go more slowly for decades from now on tom clark sky news corfu